No one. Literally no one. Absolutely no one. No one in the entire universe. Not a single soul. There is no one, and you are alone. Not just no one, but nothing. There is nothing. It may seem like there is something, but there is actually nothing. Zoom out just a bit, and you'll find that this something disappears into nothing. Zoom out some more, and maybe you'll find another something. But it'll disappear into nothing just as quick. There is no greater something, there is no greater someone. There is no one, and there is nothing. We are all insignificant in the grand scheme of things. But why must we focus on the grand scheme of things? Just because this is small does not make it nothing. It doesn't even make it insignificant. Think of everything you've experienced. Every friend, every word, every bit of knowledge, all the love, all the pain, all the fun. That's a lot of things. The fact they're all just a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of everything doesn't make them small. It just makes the universe amazingly, inspiringly, jaw-droppingly huge. Or from another perspective, this whole thing started with a big explosion and a bunch of quarks. Those quarks somehow mixed together to become this planet, with rocks and rivers and oceans and shit, and then somehow became plants and bugs and fish and lizards and birds. And then they became people, with the ability to ask the question, what does this even mean? How did this all happen? And then answer it. And then, just as a reminder, our starting place was a stew of meaningless quarks. We made Wi-Fi, a constant invisible current that connects us to the majority of human knowledge. And we don't even think it's exciting anymore. We are, as far as we know, and we know a lot, the most interesting thing to happen anywhere ever. We are not nothing, my friend. We are not no one. We are something. We are someone. Someone. No one. How did English penis size with herbs?